Let's talk art commissions. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be talking about art commissions and I'll be doing a speed painting. So art commissions are custom paintings that clients will seek you out for. Most of my commissions come from Facebook and Instagram. So I'm going to talk to you about how I manage commissions and the pros and cons of being a commissioned artist. So grab a cup of coffee or tea, sit back, and let's chat while I paint this gorgeous Dapple Doxy puppy. When I'm contacted about a commission, I want to get a clear understanding of what my potential client needs. Um, I mostly get requests for portraits or pet portraits, so seeing the reference photos is super important to me, and I ask for them right away. If the reference photos are good, I proceed with asking for like their desired size of painting, um, if they want a solid or detailed background, and if there's a deadline. Once I have all of that info, I create an invoice. I use Square for my invoicing and payment system, so I have a very simple pricing method. Um, I have a price per square inch, plus the cost of materials, plus shipping. Um, artists who use this um, method charge anywhere from 50 cents to $5 per square inch or more, depending on their skill level and demand for their artwork. I also require a 50% deposit before I even begin a commission. Of course, there's always pros and cons to doing anything. Uh, commissions are no different. So some of the pros are um, being able to connect with your clients more personally, uh, creating custom artwork that clients will cherish, and knowing that um, the painting that you're about to do is sold before you even have to sketch it out. I personally only have one con and that is when I have a client who is either difficult in some way, doesn't know um, what they want, or is very bad at communicating what they want, which brings me to my next um, thing about commissions that you might want to do. Um, I always include a commission agreement with my invoices. The agreement details the project as I understand it. Um, the cost and deposit requirements, deadlines, um, art, artist rights concerning reproduction and copyrights, uh, costs associated with minor or major revisions, and terms regarding cancellation after I've already begun um, the process. So this just gets everything out there um, if the client has any uh, changes that they want to be made, if they want to be more detailed about something, if you didn't understand something correctly, they can tell you now. Um, and it just uh, hopefully eliminates any confusion. So yeah, that's how I manage my commissions. If you'd like future videos that go more in depth on any of the topics, leave a comment and I'll work on those videos as soon as possible. I hope you like the way this painting is turning out. You can finish watching it. Um, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.